Hello everyone, it's Kalem or Kalem's Fish Tanks, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my first plant profile. Now the plant I'm going to be covering is one of my favorites. It is Southern Humanilla. Now I have this over the whole top of my low-tech 10-gallon tank. Um, it's a great plant. It's very easy, and it gives your tank shade for your fish so your fish will feel more comfortable and they seem to come out a lot more um as you can see it's a lot brighter on this side where i have no salvinia a lot darker here where i don't um this plant is really good for removing nit nitrates like most floating plants because their roots are in the water and removing them directly from the water unlike other plants which remove them from the soil. Um, this plant is really easy. I would not do it in high-tech tanks, maybe medium, but that's about it. Uh, because it, uh, it's easily, it gets algae easily, and in high-tech tanks it will die back, and you'll have to constantly be pruning off the piece with algae. Um, my shrimp also really like this. I can't... Oh yeah, there's one right there. They go up in the roots and they clean them. Oh, there's one behind that leaf too. Yeah, that's a nemono. Uh My shrimp really like the plants as well. Um, the plant can also handle a wide range of temperatures. And uh, I find it's better than plants like duckweed because it's a lot bigger and is like say you put your hand in your tank it won't get all over your arm it'll sort of just fall off and it's also a lot bigger so it's easier to take out and it doesn't get stuck to the walls of your tank um, it can handle a pretty wide range of pH just I would say not too high so like 7.5 to probably 6 uh, it's a great plant for planted aquariums, especially low-tech, low-light tanks, and I feel it makes your fish a lot more active, because they feel like they have a lot more cover than they would in an open tank. Um, this was Calum's Fish Tanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.